another day, another dollar. We are here in the beautiful Glacier National Park. Just put our skins on our skis. I'm about to throw the skins on my board and we're gonna go touring. We're gonna be touring up this ridge towards a summit and the summit is not really rideable. It's super gnarly, super rocky, so we're gonna drop in off the summit ridge and hopefully ride this line I've been looking at for a couple years now. Looks pretty fun, nothing too crazy, but it's been cold. The snow conditions have been good lately. We got a little bit of wind, so hopefully it's not gonna be too wind buffed up where we're going, but we're looking for some pal, for some good snow, and a fun time uh, coming down, so. Around here, it's pretty hard to beat the amazing views. It's gonna be hopefully a clear day. I don't wanna jinx it by saying that, but it seems like the weather's gonna be in our favor and should be a fun ride down. So, keep you posted. It is a very brisk 12 degrees outside, but it's still spring. So of course we gotta have the spring start in the dirt. big part of this tour is also a scouting mission for Mount Brown, another big peak across the valley. We were able to get a good look at it and figure out a potential line to come back and ride in the future. So stay tuned. Well, we just hit the summit ridge for where we plan on riding, which is right behind me up there. We're gonna see if we can traverse this ridge over to our line and get some eyes on. From here, it looks Pretty good, there's a little bit of exposure over some cliffs and kind of a treed section. So we're gonna have to pick our way down it. Hopefully the snow conditions are good. After our last time skiing together, I don't think either of us feel like riding some icy BS. So we'll uh, suss it out and see how she goes. <laughs> Scout out this line, see if it goes. We haven't skied it before. We've got like looks from the side, but not a proper look from below or above. A little nervous it could be rocky or cliffy. So we'll take a look. If not, I've skied back there before. I know that connects and goes, which is not a bad plan B if it comes to it. So we'll uh, see what it holds for us. Very concerning that anything we throw down this is just sliding over the top and not in training any snow whatsoever. That looks kind of sketchy, dude. But, I mean, scraping over here, it's only like one to two inches on the crust. And the thing is, don't, it keeps rolling over. We don't know quite how steep it gets because we haven't had a good look at it from below. We're sussing out the conditions and the conditions are firm. We've been hammered with wind over the past few days and this slope is apparently pretty wind hammered and it would be very puckering and scary. And neither Paul nor I would like to ski something that is scary and puckering right now. I would rather enjoy my ride down and have a fun time. So we're gonna try and go back down the ridge and see if we can find some better snow and something maybe a little more mellow and have a good time and 
enjoy this beautiful scenery. Oh. I'll meet you at that knob. I see. He's coming a little more hot on that. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm really glad we didn't drop into that shit. over till you're at the car and we're at the car so it's over that was a sick day just did about 10 miles and how much vert did we do did you know mm, my watch said like 5,000. i don't know if i believe that fully yeah that's probably a stretch but probably more like 4,000, 4,500. some good vert super fun we didn't die <laughs> 